for the past few days i went back to playing a few of my retro consoles like really like i'm talking about two three generations back now I, you know i've been playing a lot of racing games and yeah i've been playing a lot of those but i really went back and got into a couple of games that i really wanted to revisit and one of those games now i'm not necessarily gonna make a big deal out of well i'll talk about the game in a minute what game it is but i want to say because i played this game i have a big appreciation for the retro games or just necessarily older games from about let's say 15 20 years ago nowadays a lot of AAA games have like all these issues you know they they have messaging in them some of the games not even that good um it's all about graphics and microtransactions the actual game itself is not really trying to keep you immersed and push and have you uh into a game so uh you know it 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 doesn't really uh, sell you that anymore a lot of us trying to you know not a lot of us are just trying to find games that we can play and it's a video game and it has fun and anything outside of Nintendo it's not really easy to find unless you like dig deep into like this current generation and find a hidden gem or you just find a game that uh that you personally like not necessarily a game that that's known or people hear about it you just happen to like it. It, it, it you just have to find games that are your preference so i've been back playing some retro games as usual this time it's not a racing game and uh i've been having a blast with this game right here if you see it it's doom 3 collector's edition this is the original xbox version um if you know anything i love the original xbox i collect for the original xbox and i've played this game you know back in the day you know i mean don't get me wrong i played it before and i i don't remember finishing it i think i got maybe about halfway through so last night what i did was i got you know my you know i have my console set up right here cut off all the lights and I was just basically playing Doom 3. And I started out from the beginning and um, I just couldn't put the game down. I was playing the game for probably about a good two hours till I realized like, all right, wait a minute. And you know, I gotta go work in the morning. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, it, but it. those are the type of games that are missing. Those are the type of games that are missing in our lives if you were a real gamer. There's a lot of games out here now that just don't captivate you like that. Like, like I've seen some people feel that way about Hogwarts Legacy, Baldur's Gate 3, Elden Ring. But I remember there was a time that there was almost like eight or nine games out in one year that felt that way. And if you go all the way back to the, you know, let's say fifth, sixth, even some cases, the fourth generation, you know, you can find those games that was, you know, that would that kept you intact throughout the next you know three four weeks that's all you wanted to play even in the seventh generation the ps3 xbox 360 those type of games just you know that you found those type of games nowadays even like since the xbox one and ps4 came out there weren't really those type of games that were like that this is one of the reasons why i think you saw a lot of remasters it's one of the reasons why i thought you saw a lot of you know remakes or some games that tried to mimic the games of the past but um this game right here and don't get me wrong i love you know 2016 doom i love doom eternal but it's just something about this game i mean my god this game was something serious back then and for a game that came out of 2004 and uh a game that you know that that's you know, it's 20 years old and it holds up very well to the point where i'm like when are we going to start getting games like this again you know dead space was a game that was similar to it third person but it was similar to it where it was that kind of same aura but now we don't even know we're going to get a dead space 2 but that was a game that was remade as well uh you know or it was remastered or whatever it's 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 just really unfortunate that nowadays i feel like we have games that aren't necessarily uh game companies that are necessarily creative and don't want to go out on a limb and even with doom you had doom one and two that came out like on the saturn and, and jaguar and doom two came out and then doom three was like this whole new thing and it felt so good and it's, it's awesome to see that doom is still thriving under that same premise but there was there was nothing like this 20 years ago this game here was absolutely is absolutely amazing for its time and i'm sitting here like 
whoa, I'm, if I don't have to work the next day, I'll probably try to go through this entire game. But I think there's some, you know, I don't want to go off on a tangent, but I think there's like some memory packet situation where the game will crash if you try to play it in one setting. So you have to like, you know, cut your time up to play the game because the memory overwhelms the original Xbox. But nevertheless, I do have the game on PC, the original version on PC, not the BFG edition. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the original Doom 3. And um, I have it on PC, but for some reason, even though the PC version looks great, don't get me wrong, but I tried to play a little bit of that earlier today. And um, it doesn't, for some reason to me, it doesn't capture the same aura that the original Xbox does. Now, don't get me wrong. You could play it at a higher frame rate and the resolution is higher and it looks gorgeous. And, um, but I, I think, well, for one, you have to use a high, wide screen hack, which, you know, that's not a problem on PC, but, um, it goes up to, you know, 1200 P or something like that, which would be great for, you know, a PC CRT, but it's, it's just, the game's just not dark enough. Like it, it's like the lighting is not that good in my opinion, I, I'm pretty sure you could change it. You know, I didn't, you know, even bother to change it once I started playing, but I was just noticing it. I was like, yeah, I'm going to go back and finish the Xbox version. Cause I, I, like I said, I didn't really finish the game. I think I got like, like maybe 50% through, but I, I said, man, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and finish the Xbox version. And if I want to go and play the PC version, that's cool. I do have a PC CRT. I am, um, I really want to know how that would work on that, that PC CRT monitor, because now it, it's kind of fitted for that type of, that, that type of, uh, device in, you know, it, it's a 16 by 1200 P and it's really four by three. So I would love to see how it will fit and how it will play. And, um, that, that's something I'm probably going to experiment with after I finish this version. But at the end of the day, you know, there's, plenty of uh there's plenty of other games that are out there that 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 capture this the same way and for this game to be you know 20 years old now like i said i think it came out in 2004 2005 and for the game to be this old and just still holds up today it tells you a lot about today's games like today's games is not necessarily i'm not saying it's in bad shape but there's nothing there to really uh, you know, feel like it's brand new, refreshing, and creative, and that that's really a it's really a bummer. You know what I mean? It's kind of bad, but nevertheless, I think I said enough. Uh, I I really wanted to share that with you guys. Like, look, it's not just with this game. It's not just with this game. It's plenty of other games out here that do the same thing that will get you immersed in some games. Like I said, I I dimmed the lights. I cut the lights off. I played this game, and it really felt kind of scary it really did and and that's what's though the immersion is missing in these games nowadays like i said i named out a handful of games out of all these games coming out and it, it just doesn't feel right go to the double a go to the indie games if you want to find those type of games and uh knock yourself out if you haven't already other than that i'll see you guys on the next one i really appreciate you guys if you made it this far hit the like button share and subscribe to the channel all right y'all i'll take it easy i'm out peace